Joining us today on MSUEagles.com is sophomore guard Angelo Warner from the Moorhead State men's basketball program. And the Eagles are getting ready for another OVC road trip Thursday at Belmont and Saturday at Jacksonville State. And Angelo, let's first rewind to the last contest. You had a breakout game, uh, 24 points, a career high, your best effort in 53 games as an Eagle. Uh, the eye-popping number there, you were 16 of 18 from the free throw line. I don't even know if you realized you got to the line that often, but uh, a good individual performance for you. Uh, well, I just wanted to be more aggressive uh, than the person that was guarding me. Um, you know, going to this game, uh, this, this knee is just killing me. Uh, I just wanted to get out every play I could. But, you know, Coach just said, just stay in, just be tough. Don't worry about the knee, just play it, play through it. And um, if you need to get out, just let, just let, me, let them know and uh, just he'll get me back in. But, you know. Playing this game, uh, we wanted to get Tennessee State back from last year. Uh, some of the, some of the uh, returners, we know that they gave us a good run in the tournament last year. So uh, we just want to come back and just get a good home win. You mentioned that Tennessee State was the runner-up last year in the OBC tournament, and we had a tough five-point loss at their place. Let me ask you this, rewinding back to last Thursday, a heartbreaking loss to Belmont here, probably a game that all the guys in the locker room thought that they had and should have had, and you guys let that lead slip away with about a minute 15 to go in the contest. But as you being one of six returning players and a veteran, per se, even though you're a sophomore, talk about kind of uh, the discussion points and the mindset of you guys putting that behind you, coming back out, and, and getting a good victory over a quality opponent like Tennessee State. Well, uh, Belmont, that, that's a good sound. It's a good, a very good sound team. And uh, uh, going into that game, um, we, we was really calm, you know, just, just, uh, well, I just want to say we just stayed solid, just just continue on our game plan and just not let anything get away from us. Uh, we just try to take care of the ball as much as we can. Uh, coach, that's what he really dwelled on throughout the week, just take care of the ball and uh, get into shooters. And uh, I think we did a pretty good job against that. Uh, we made a little couple of mishaps down the stretch, and uh, we just let that one get away from us. But, you know, going back to uh, when we played Belmont again, um, it's, nothing's going to change. We're still, still going to have our game plan. Uh, we're still going to give them everything we got. In your uh, year and a half here at Moorhead State, you've been a very good rebounder from the guard position. Uh, to Saturday's contest against Tennessee State, you guys uh, post a 29-25 advantage. But the more impressive number that I shared with Coach Woods uh, earlier uh, this week was you guys are plus 100 in the rebounding department the last nine games. You feel like that's really becoming a mindset and a mentality for this team? Well, um, going to the uh, offensive glass and defensive glass, uh, first going to the offensive glass, that's just, just giving us another chance to score points. Um, we, we just want to be tougher than the other team and uh, getting on the offensive glass and um, defensive, uh, getting on the defensive boards. That's the way we get our breaks started. So that's, what, that's our main focus point on defense and offense. One of your teammates, Junior Bakari Turner, admittedly had a slow start to the season, but he's had six straight double-figure scoring performances. He had 16 against Tennessee State on Saturday evening. Just talk about playing with him in the backcourt. He's now in the starting lineup, and, and I know you feel confident when you feed him the ball, he's going to put it in the hole. Uh, well, Bakari, he works on his game just like I do. Um, every time I go to the gym, he's there. Or if he going to the gym, he'll tell me he want to go to the gym. So uh, playing with Bakari, he, he's a great athlete. Um, he shoots, he shoots the lights out on the ball when he gets going. Uh, we just tell him, just, just calm down and just play basketball. I mean, that's what coach wants us to do, just play basketball, but be smart with the ball as well. So he, he's coming along. He had a slow start, but uh, he's one of the most trusted players I can play with on this team. Sophomore guard Angelo Warner from the Moorhead State Men's Basketball Program with us on MSUEagles.com. And Angelo, with the, the pace and the style that Coach Woods and this staff want you to play, it's very up and down. You guys are pressing a lot. You're facing a lot of full court action. Uh, kind of lends itself to committing turnovers, but you guys did a much better job in that department against Tennessee State, only 11 miscues. Just talk about the importance of taking care of the ball, especially guys like you and Devon and Bakari in the backcourt. Oh, uh, well, taking care of the ball, um, that's – that's what gets other teams going and getting, giving them confidence. So when we take care of the ball, most of the time we get good looks on what, what our offense is giving us. So, uh, but on the other hand, we want to turn guys over, and that gets our offense going as well. So, You talked about Belmont being a, a high-quality opponent, and you guys will see them twice in eight days. And the next time it will be down in Nashville at the Curb Event Center. But just kind of your thoughts after seeing them once, you guys feel like that's a good thing or a bad thing that you turn around and play them again so quickly? Well, it's pretty good that we play them again because uh, I'm pretty sure when we get in the tournament, we'll see them again. So 
Uh, it, it's nothing. It's nothing to worry about because I know our team's gonna be ready. And I know their team's gonna be ready as well. So we just gotta let the chips see what see what the chips fall, and we, I hope they're gonna give us our best shot, and we're gonna give them our best shot as well. And you guys clearly are trained to take one game at a time and not look down the road. Not sure if you even know this, but Jacksonville State on Saturday defeated Murray State. Obviously, they went 31-2 and last year. So I guess that reaffirms or reminds the guys, especially those like yourself who have been through the OVC race one time in its entirety, that there are no automatics in, the, in this conference and you have to be ready to play every single night, don't you? Right. Well, I was just talking to Drew about that. I, I Actually, I didn't know that, but I just told him uh, this tournament is up for grabs. I mean, listen to the, to the reports at halftime. This, uh, this tournament is going good. Every team's coming out to play, and you never know what can happen going through all this stretch. So every team has to be ready, but I, I know for sure coming with, being as a leader on this team and having some of the other leaders on this team, I'm pretty sure that Moria State is going to be one of the top teams when we go into the tournament. And I know one thing, you guys, you end every practice and every time coach talks to you post game, there's there's uh, several chants or, or team uh, team cries, if you will. And uh, one of them is that you guys love each other. And uh, the other thing is that you're, you're striving for that one goal, OBC champs. And I'm sure that's been the mindset from day one. And that continues to be the goal moving forward, doesn't it? Yes, sir. Uh, well, that chant's been going on ever since we, we first met. Uh, when we met it, just for him coming in, just trying to get the job, he, he said that creed. So, I knew he was all about business, and it was about time that we st stepped up our game and uh, just try to achieve one goal, and that's get that championship. Well, Angela, we appreciate your time today. Congratulations on a quality performance against Tennessee State on Saturday, and we look forward to seeing you in action uh, in Nashville and Jacksonville this coming weekend. Thank you. Angela Warner from the Moorhead State Men's Basketball Program, and we'll have more on the Eagles on MSUEagles.com, so please stay tuned.